Hi, this is Quinlan from Go North Japan. Today we're gonna to go foraging again, this time looking for wasabi. And with luck, I'll be able to show you both how to find it and recognize it in the wild, how to harvest it, and how to cook it and eat it. Off we go. So I'm gonna pick some uh, wild wasabi. こんにちは。こんにちは。今日はもう、そうですね、わさびですか。わさび。わさびたくさんありますね。あるある。ちょっと過ぎだけどな。これ。これがあの過ぎ、あの時間経ってるのね。初めからこれ花子咲くんだけ
A lot of times they're not actually using real wasabi or hon wasabi, as you'd say in Japanese. A lot of times it's got other things and food flavorings and colorings mixed in with it. So if you have a chance to get the real thing, it's, uh, it's really something special. The uh, wasabi plants are said to only grow in places that have really pure, clean water. The streams and mountains here are incredibly pristine. And the places where I go foraging, wasabi is not rare at all. It's everywhere. It covers the ground along these streams. And so even if you do take some, and in this case, I killed the plant by taking the whole root, but there's, it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's like a weed. And so I don't feel like I'm damaging the ecosystem or anything. Now I want to show you what you can do with the rest of the plant, because one of the great things about wasabi is that the entire plant is edible, not just this. You can actually eat the stems, the root, the flowers, the entire thing is delicious. First take the cleaned wasabi plants and pour boiling water over them. It's easy if you use a strainer. Let them cool. After they've cooled, squeeze out some of the water if you can. And chop them up into smaller pieces. Put them into a jar or bowl, mix about three or four tablespoons of tsuyu, which is similar to uh, soy sauce. And uh, shake them up. Mix it up really well. Then place them in jars and let them sit for 24 hours. It's now 24 hours after I recorded the bottling of these two jars of hawasi, as we call them actually, the leaf of the wasabi plant. So I'm now gonna open and taste them. Generally, it's recommended to eat this with rice, or you could also, uh, people would say as a osake no tsumami, which basically just means uh, a liquor snack, a snack that you eat uh, while you're drinking, specifically uh, Japanese sake. Yeah, it's a bit early for me to start drinking, so I'm not gonna, um, have this with any alcohol. I'm just gonna taste it for the sake of explaining how it tastes. I made two different versions, one with tsuyu, one with sugar. I'll taste the tsuyu version first. Ooh, it really smells like it's, uh, just opening it. it, smells like wasabi. It's got a strong sort of zingy smell to it. So the one that had the tsuyu soy sauce in it is a little bit lighter in color, which makes sense because tsuyu is a soy based sauce. Let's taste. So tsuyu version first. It's definitely got the horseradish little zing going on, but it's not that strong. It's uh, enough that it gives it an accent. It makes it pleasant to taste. It doesn't have a strong taste. It's got that almost sweet, not quite salty, but uh, wasabi type flavor, but with the texture of um, spinach or some similar vegetable that has stems and leaves in it like this. It's got the edge of a bite, but it's not strong. Now this is the one that I put in with sugar, sugar and hot water which is supposed to make it spicy. I only put in about a spoonful of sugar. We'll see. Mmm. My verdict is this. The one done with tsuyu has enough flavor to eat it just as it is. It's um, just got that hint of saltiness because tsuyu is um, partially soy sauce, I believe, and it's good just as is. The one that I did with just hot water and sugar is spicier. It's got more of a bite to it, but there's not much flavor to it. And so, yeah, I think you'd wanna dip it in soy sauce or something, eat it, or maybe if you mix it in with some strong flavored thing, it would be okay. They both are neutral and fine to eat. They don't taste bad at all, but it's just sort of a light, nondescript vegetable, which is 
fine. It's healthy, but um, it's not like, man, this is great. I gotta get some more. So I would say do it with suyu is my recommendation. And it's, uh, yeah, with a little bit of suyu in it is a respectable flavor. Not amazing, but, but pretty good. You got a little bite. And I would say if you want just something to uh, munch on while you're drinking that's healthy and natural, this has got to be it. Given that it's a deep leafy green, more or less, that's coming off of areas with the purest water and great soil, it's got to be filled with vitamins and minerals. Since I went to the trouble of uh, picking all that uh, wasabi out of the mountains yesterday, and I brought back a couple of roots to show you, so I thought I should actually do the wasabi thing and make the real uh, wasabi. So I grated some of the roots that I took back and made this little mound of wasabi paste that you can see here. Let's give it a try. So I've got here some yellowtail, booty in Japanese, and some salmon. I even got some local sake. I, I really love hamachidori, which is based in uh, Kamaishi on the coast, and they're a great place. And so I got, um, just in my local grocery store, luckily, they sell hamachidori. And this is a Junmai Ginjo. So, let's give this a try. And I'm just gonna go nuts on this, because I know it's not as spicy as normal wasabi, so I'm gonna put way more than I would normally put on and just trust that I'm not gonna get like a nose explosion going on right here. So, let's try this. Mm. Yeah, it's really got a strong aroma. It doesn't hit your nose in the same way, it really doesn't. I'm gonna taste this just by itself with a little bit of soy sauce to confirm that. Mmm, mmm, okay. It hits you a little, but it's definitely not as strong as the stuff that they sell. This has a really elegant flavor, so even if it's not hitting your nose in the same way, it's certainly worth eating and uh, really nice. It's sort of a special, special treat. So the wasabi is, yeah, lighter and more fragrant is how I would describe it. And this yellowtail is from uh, Kagoshima in Kyushu, and it's also just delicious. Mmm. And this matches it perfectly. I'm gonna hopefully do a number of videos discussing the different flavors of sake. This is Quinlan from Cornwall, Japan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the trails.